A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidah Mursaleen. Amma ba'ad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to my Muslim brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah for Islam. And alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us another day, another chance, another opportunity to seek nearness to him. My advice to you is to have taqwa. What does that mean exactly? Taqwa is to be God conscious, constantly aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is present with his knowledge and knows everything you think, say, or do. This is a powerful knowledge. This is a powerful understanding. When you are aware that the sovereign, Al Hayul Al Kayyum, when you know this with certainty, Yaqeen, you have the Yaqeen, you are aware and you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees and knows everything. It should make you think twice before you do the things that are going to take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It should encourage you to seek out opportunities and ways to gain nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course the salat, of course the siyam, of course the zakat, of course the hajj. These are things of course, of course. But even more than that, in your day to day, in, in, in the way you interact with people, your neighbors, the people you pass on the street, the smile that you give them, the hope that you inspire in them, the encouragement that you offer to anybody who just sees you as a grateful Muslim. Nothing can shake you. Nothing can break you. Nothing can make you do anything that is going to displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is Rabil Alameen. I encourage you to daily seek nearness. Everything you do, I want you to think is this going to bring me towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or is this going to bring me away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And obviously, if you think before you speak, if you think before you do, it might take a pause. You might have to reflect. You might have to analyze. You might have to scrutinize every situation because there are some things that are in between. They're the doubtful matters. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, leave off that which makes you doubt for that which makes you not doubt. So when you come upon those, those doubtful things, think. Use your akko. If there's any doubt, if there's any suspicion, if there's any chance that it could take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I encourage you to leave it. Don't do it. It might not be haram. But if it makes you second guess yourself, don't do it. It might be lawful. It might be for who knows. But if you don't know, caution on the side of error. Or error on the side of caution. Think deeply. Think. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees all you do. He is present with his knowledge and nothing that he knows all things. You can't you can't get one over on him. You can't think that he's unaware. You have to act as if he is right beside you because he is closer than your jugular vein. Consider this. Think about this. Hold firm to this. Hold firm to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Enjoin what is right. Forbid what is wrong. First to yourself. First to yourself. Hold yourself accountable. Take inventory about your day. If there is anything that you have to repent for, repent. Do not hesitate. Repent. Do not waste any time. Repent. Seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the act of istighfar. Astaghfirullahi rabbi atubu ilay. Lord, I ask your forgiveness and I turn to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this easy for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you of those who are striving to be of the mutakin or of the God conscious. I advise you to have taqwa. I advise myself to have taqwa. I openly bear witness that there is none worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has no partners. 
I openly bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is his slave, his prophet, and his final messenger. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless Muhammad in the household of Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I love you guys.